Everybody dreams about trading less and making more, right? Everyone wants to spend less time at the desk and more time doing all the activities that they want, which is why they got into trading in the first place. In this video, we're gonna go over several tips on how I can get you to trade less, make more money, and have more fun in the process. There's several benefits when you're talking about trading less and earning more, all right? Number one, the reason you got into trading is why? Probably because you want some time freedom, you want some passive income, right? You want some freedoms that the normal nine to five life didn't give you, so you're pursuing trading full time. But let me tell you, trading less and making more is the mindset you need to have if you wanna really accomplish that goal because you don't wanna be sitting in front of a computer screen for 10 hours a day, getting fat, getting nasty. You wanna be out there experiencing your life enjoying the freedom that trading offered you trading less making more offers this type of freedoms the financial freedom and the time freedom that you've been looking for I can tell you right now that if you want to trade less and make more, selling options is the way for you. Through options strategies that you can sell, you can make passive income and you can trade a bunch less and make a ton more and have consistency over a long time selling options. I've gone over this a thousand times and I'm going to keep trying to drill it into people's head. Buying a naked call or buying a put is not it, right? What you're doing is you're going to McDonald's. If you're buying a naked call and buying a naked put, you're going to McDonald's day after day. It tastes good, right? It's got potential, but you know it's not good for you long term, right? You know you probably shouldn't be eating this shit every day. Selling options, this is fucking filet mignon with fucking grilled broccoli, baby. This is something that we could eat every day that our ancestors grew on. Selling options is the best way for you to have consistency, a higher probability of success, give you time to study and educate while you learn further option strategies. It's everything you've wanted, you just didn't know it yet. But that's why I'm gonna explain to you here why selling options is best for you to trade less and make more. So with selling options, you can log into your brokerage on Monday morning. You can buy 500 shares of a stock and you can hit trade, option, sell, call, five, swipe up, and you're done for the week. You could literally withdraw that cash right then and there. That's it. And you don't have to worry about what the outcome is because if the stock goes up, congratulations, you collect the premium and the intrinsic value. The stock goes down, congratulations, you kept the premium and you get to do it again next week and next week and next week. And so you really just only have to work for five minutes if you even wanted to. You could do cash secured puts in the same fashion. This stock I really like is at a great price. Go to the options chain, hit sell, go to put. Click the strike price you like, swipe up, congratulations. The premium you just sold is yours forever. When you're buying options, you have to sit there in front of the screen and watch it very diligently if you're day trading or scalping because your equity is going to fluctuate so rapidly you need to plan your exit. And unfortunately, the market doesn't tell you when your exit's going to be prior to. So you might sit there for one hour, two hours. You might be there for six hours waiting to plan your exit, where selling options, you can truly set it, forget it day over day, not worry about it because you know the outcome as soon as that order fills. Options buying doesn't give you that luxury. Risks, anything that has the word options in it. Selling, buying, derivative, it, it comes with high risk, right? That's just the nature of the ball game when we're talking about the vast world of options, derivatives, they all come with significant risk. Options selling to me comes with significantly less risk than options buying um, because you can have tight stop losses in place just like any other options trade. You can have multiple things in your trading plan which minimize the risk. But when we're talking about wheeling and dealing, when we're talking about cash secured puts and covered calls, the only risk, the only risk that really comes is if the underlying stock continues a strong downtrend because now your equity is unrealized losses are growing and now you're starting to see your options contracts at the strike price you entered. The, the premium went from 100 bucks to 20. It's not really lucrative. It's not really paying. But in the long run, you're still knocking off 
total amount of that blended cost basis. You're taking that dollar cost average that you bought in and you're lowering it systematically week over week. So the only risk is not holding a stock long enough, not reinvesting, not lowering your cost basis and planning an exit strategy. This is an annual strategy. Every time I enter a stock that I want to sell options against, I believe it is a 12-month hold minimum. And what that does is that reduces my risk significantly. I have ridden stocks. Trust me, when I say I fucking ridden stocks that I bought in at 50 and within three months they were at 20. And that first bounce up to 30, I was able to exit for profit. So in the long term, it always works out. You just need to have that long-term state of mind when your option's selling for passive income. If we're talking mentality and like what you need to know, like what what you need to teach yourself to understand this is one, right? Number one for me is it's a long-term strategy. Like I just said, everything you do, you need to do based on 12 to 24 months of previous data on the charts, and you need to have a 12-month outlook. Having that long-term mindset will help you benefit extraordinarily in this field. You need to take a paycheck week over week or month over month. You need to pay yourself. There's one thing that all successful traders have in common that most retail traders don't, and that's they take a paycheck week over week. Well, this strategy here, selling options, provides you with the availability to take a paycheck week over week, if not month over month, while also being able to reinvest additional capital. No other strategy is gonna provide that for you without consistency, hardcore risk management and consistency. Option selling, does it by natural habit. I think the biggest reasons why people don't sell options is one, they think it takes this absolutely massive amount of equity where they're like, oh, I don't have $300,000, so I can't sell options. And that's bullshit. You know, I just took a small account from $4,000 to $5,000 in three and a half, four weeks. So, I mean, that's consistent, awesome amount of growth there. And I did it literally selling options. But the knowledge, you need to go out and search to find those resources, either YouTube or Google, which provide free resources, or you need to find someone like me who's out here drilling it into people's heads inside my Discord every single day. This is how you sell options, and I'm building trading plans with them so they can make consistent passive income. So you have to find someone who's going to push you to take the practical exercise step. You need to utilize the free resources to help your external education when you do this. And then you need to really bridge that gap that says, I don't just have to go this way. Remember, there's a thousand little fucking roads to financial freedom. None of them are the right way. They're just a way. So jump on one and the selling options road. Let me tell you, there's a bunch of truck stops on the way. It's pretty nice. If I were to assign one task to you, if I were to say, do this and start your option selling journey, I would tell you to go find your favorite $5 stock. Mine is Labu, L-A-B-U. It's a beautiful ticker. It's a 3X leverage ETF that tracks biotech. It's very consistent, and it also follows market trends. I would say for your first task, go sell one cash secured put, a dollar out of the money on the put side for $10, $15, but sell that first cash secured put, let it go all the way to Friday's expiration date. This will teach you patience. This will teach you the exact way how to sell cash secured puts. This will teach you about how the account works when uh, selling options is credited to your account. So if I were to give you a task, I would say sell your first cash secured put, use your favorite stock, but just do it. Do one. After you do that, if you wanted to do the opposite side, buy 100 shares of any underlying stock that you know, that you love, that you feel comfortable with. And once you buy 100 shares of that stock, go into your broker and sell one call option right against it, right at the same strike price that you bought it in at. Take the risk off the table sell one call option, sell one put option, begin taking the steps towards practical exercise. One of the good analogies that I like to use for the mindset switch, right? Like how do I get from buying options, not long-term investing, kind of like doing this degenerate shit to, okay, I want to sell options. I want passive income. I want to get away from the screen. 
So let's think about dividend investing for a second. How many times have you looked online and found a dividend infographic on a stock that's paying 20 cents a year? How many of you are like, oh, I'm going to buy a shit ton of this monthly dividend stock and I'm going to grow it and be rich in 30 years like Warren Buffett? It's crossed almost every one of our minds. But if you start to think of selling options as high risk dividend investing, it's very similar and very like in many ways. If you think of dividend investing, you're buying an underlying stock. Selling covered calls, you're buying an underlying stock. Dividend investing, you're waiting for your quarterly dividend hit or monthly dividend. Selling options, you could sell monthly or quarterly call options, which is your premium to hit. If you're selling dividends and you're collecting passive income and reinvesting, it's very long term. Selling options is also very long term. So if we were to think about you want to be a dividend investor, you want to take the Warren Buffett route of success, that's awesome. Why not do it selling options? There's a ton of people that I see that are on Twitter, like the Decade Investor and all of these other wealth investors that have been collecting dividends for 20 years who are now posting about selling options as well. Why the switch? Because they realize, oh shit, this is the same mindset. It's just a little bit more active for you week over week, but we're talking about five minutes. When I used to buy options, I was also working a sales job, right? And this is when I realized that this shit wasn't healthy for me. There was several times in a day where I was almost crashing my fucking work truck. I would be driving, driving, driving. Oh shit, I'm in a call option. Look down at the phone, slam on the brakes. I realized this is not healthy. This is not practical for me to work my sales job, driving my work truck, and fucking trying to trade and buy options. After I did that, I started developing. Once I learned about selling options that, hey, Max, you have a good amount of equity now. Like I built up a six, seven figure portfolio. You could just sell options and live comfortable. Once I started really digging into the research and making the switch, I mean, it gave me so much more time. I used to sit in front of my screen here when I started my options trading journey in 2018. When I used to sit in front of my screen, I'd wake up at 6 a.m. and start looking at my phone to see where my stocks were at. What are they at? The market didn't even open for three hours, but I was glued to my phone, glued to my computer screen, charting, doing all the things, and it was not healthy. I started gaining weight. I started getting bigger. I started feeling like shit, and it just all around eclipses everything you're not supposed to do. When I started selling options, I noticed an immediate switch because I was still looking at my phone for a little while, but I realized, oh shit, it's only Tuesday. Like, let me look again tomorrow. Let me look again Thursday. And then my every five minutes went to every day. Then my every day went to, I'll check on Friday. Then on Friday, I was like, I don't even care about the result. I'll just log in on Mondays and do it. And that took me away from sitting here. And now I can go to the gym for a few hours a day. I can go experience life and have fun. I can make consistent amounts of income and I don't have to worry about which way the stock goes. I don't give a shit anymore. So that total eclipsing attitude of I have to be engaged 24 hours a day or I'm going to fail at trading, that's bullshit. You can sell options, remove yourself from the process, go work your nine to five. If I was selling options when I was driving that truck, I would be crushing it. I would be basically just making a double paycheck week over week. Um, But there were several times and I didn't know. I wasn't educated back then. Um, So that's why I'm here pleading to you, educate yourself, learn, bridge the gap from buying and selling and start implementing more selling strategies because it's going to make you trade less, make more, and it's going to bring your overall everything to a much healthier place. I have several mentees who literally knew nothing about trading in general. So they didn't have that good basis of knowledge before they even started the option selling journey. Now they're making thousands in passive income week over week, pulling up charts, pulling up several different factors from several companies, doing their own due diligence and technical analysis and selling options where they feel most comfortable. I'll tell you right now in in NMOT Discord, I have several if not dozens of customers who team members that have been with me for years, they started the journey buying options. They played the earnings gambles. They fucking did it all buying options. And now they're in the main chat saying, just sold the, my covered calls for the week up 1100 bucks. This is the greatest strategy of all time. It's following my credit spread strategy. And they're strictly selling options now, chunking away at their accounts consistently, taking paychecks, and they're doing 
all the right things, right? They're making the right choices. They followed the different road and it's working for them. I have literally seen dozens of people go from buying options, scalping, day trading, sitting in front of the screen all damn day to I just want to sell my options, maybe one every other day, sell my covered calls week over week, take my passive income paycheck, trade less and earn more. Remember the next time you're thinking about buying that option, don't drive your fat ass to McDonald's. Instead, keep going. Keep going right to the selling option steakhouse. Get yourself the filet mignon, smother it in onions, you filthy animal, because you, you deserve it.